Well, Kathleen Wynne, the new Premier of Ontario, has a new idea. She wants to have a quota for women on boards of directors on Ontario companies. If a company doesn't have 50% of their board of directors being women, they'll have to explain it. It's sort of a name and shame concept to try and cajole these companies to get 50%. Well, joining me now in studio is Christina Blizzard, the Queen's Park columnist for Sun Media. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ezra. You know, I look at the company that uh, Kathleen Wynne herself runs, the cabinet, and it's about a, a third women. Um, and, you know, I, I look at the big companies uh, and, and some companies in the private sector have plenty of women, some don't. Uh, to me, I'm more interested as is, is the executive good? Are they talented? Are they smart? Are they experienced? I, I'm less interested in gender. What do you think the premier's up to? Well, I think it's an absolutely bizarre um, uh, policy to start going down that road of telling private companies who they should put on their board of directors is an is I think quite outrageous. It's nanny state at the at the very worst. You can't tell private companies how to run their business. Well, you know, I, I, I spent the morning looking at the boards of directors at the big banks, which are an enormous source of employment and prestige for this city. Uh, the Royal Bank, the TD Bank, the Bank of Montreal, they all have women on their boards, not 50 percent, and none of them, their chairmen are women. And I kept looking at this and said, well, there's a lot of talented people, men and women here. Who would Kathleen Wynne have this bank fire? Uh, I mean, Steve Jobs and Apple were very male. Who should have been fired to make way for someone who didn't make it on their own merits? Well, it's, I, I think it's quite bizarre because we all know that women also, and I hate to say this, but as, as a woman, uh, we have a whole different thing about the whole work-life balance. We, I know that I uh, chose to stay home and look after my children when they were younger. Not every woman does, but that certainly I made a conscious choice that, you know what, there's some things that are more important than, you know, pushing your way ahead and, and, and it's your kids. And I think a lot of women, I was recently, the Boston Globe was reporting that a lot of women with, uh, you know, a lot of very high end degrees are also choosing that. It's not just me, but a lot of women choose a different way of doing things. To now, ex to, to now have this sort of social engineering where you're going to have the government uh, step in and tell you, no, 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 you shouldn't be doing that. You should be, uh, you know, you should be in the boardroom. Well, you know, thanks very much, Kathleen. But there are also things that are more important than a boardroom. And a lot of women have made that choice. Well, and I look around the political world. Women are now premiers of a great number of provinces, representing about 90 percent of Canadians. Um, there are women's, uh, women, 50 percent of med school, uh, 60 percent of med school, 50 percent of law school. I mean, I think it's a weird thing in the age of 2013 yeah. to start going back to the quota system. It feels like a throwback. Well, yeah, and it's patronizing because now the women who are in the boardroom now, people are going to be looking at them and saying, well, did you get it because of this new policy? Or did you get it because you actually worked really hard and you're very competent? So for women who are there, I think it's very patronizing. I think it talks down to women who've made a different choice and said, you know yeah. what, that's not really what I want. And I find it also an astonishing, an, an astonishing new uh, policy that a government would adopt when there are so many other issues yeah. that we are struggling with. There are some industries that, for whatever reason, are dominated by women. I think of nursing, I think of teaching. Yeah. Maybe because those are caring professions, I don't know. Maybe they're the kind of professions that allow women to take time off to have kids, I don't know. But I wonder if we would ever see 50% men or else. I mean, it's just, I think that this is the kind of thing that we should let shareholders or students or teachers or parents or the market sort out. Last word to you, Christina. Well, yeah, you absolutely. think this is going to go anywhere? This I is just showboating. This, I think this is a battle that has been fought and won. We Women, as you pointed out, can do whatever they want. They have chosen that. They've chosen not to go into politics. They've chosen to go into law, education, nursing, doctors. And I think to enforce this, to try and enforce this through the government is really quite outrageous. Christina Blizzard, great to see you here My today. Pleasure. Thanks.